Somali cat versus Bengal cat. What are the differences between these two cat breeds? Except for the additional length, the Somali has the same tick coat as the Abyssinian. A tick coat has alternating light and dark bands of color on each hair shaft. The Somali ticking may be slower to develop than that of the Abai. Everything about him suggests his lively, attentive nature. The Somali has a slightly rounded wedge-shaped head topped with large, broad ears, the better to hear you with. Large, almond-shaped eyes of gold or green express interest in everything they see. On the face, dark lines may extend from the eyes and brows. The muscular body is graceful and athletic. It falls into a middle ground between the stocky, or kabi, a body of a breed such as the Persian and the long, svelte body of the oriental breeds such as the Siamese. The body is supported by slim, fine-boned legs atop small, oval, compact paws. Somalis are often said to look as if they are walking on tiptoe. Swishing behind them is a full brush, or tail, thick at the base and slightly tapering at the end. The Bengal could never be called delicate. He is an athlete, agile and graceful with a strong, muscular body, as befits a cat who looks as if he belongs in the jungle. His broad head is a modified wedge shape, longer than it is wide, with rounded contours. Atop it is medium sized to small ears that are relatively short, set toward the side of the head. Large oval eyes are almost round. Joining the head to the body is a long, muscular neck. Supporting the body are medium length legs, slightly longer in the back than in the front, with large, round paws. Enhancing the Bengal's wild appearance is a short, thick pelt that feels luxuriously soft and silky. It comes in several colors and patterns, including brown tabby, seal mink tabby, black silver tabby, and seal silver lynx point. The coat can be spotted randomly or in horizontal patterns, or it can be marbled, with horizontal stripes arranged randomly on a lighter background. Like his sibling the Abyssinian, the Somali lives life to the fullest. He climbs higher, jumps farther, plays harder. Nothing escapes the notice of this highly intelligent and inquisitive cat, a quality that makes life with him both endlessly entertaining and continuously challenging. Staying a step ahead of a Somali, or even just keeping pace with him, requires the fancy footwork of a Fred Astaire, the brain power of an Einstein, and a sense of humor that never stops. You never know what he'll get into next, although you can assume that if you have something or are doing something, your Somali will want to investigate it closely. Sometimes it may seem as if the Somali never sleeps. He is ever in motion, jumping up in the window to look at birds or squirrels, leaping on top of the refrigerator to supervise meal preparation, perching on your desk to watch your fingers move over the keyboard, and then swiping at them so you'll pay attention to him instead. This is a playful, persistent cat who adores being the center of attention and will do anything to achieve and maintain that status. The Somali loves to play, so plans on making or purchasing a variety of toys to keep him occupied. Ping pong balls, bottle caps, wadded up pieces of paper, puzzle toys, and teasers such as big peacock feathers will all amuse this busy and brainy cat. Teach him to retrieve at your peril. Once you start, he won't let you stop. He learns tricks quickly and many abais enjoy running a feline agility course. A love of heights is a signal trait of the Somali. He likes to be as high up as possible and will appreciate having one or more ceiling height cat trees. When those aren't available, he is perfectly capable of making his way to the uppermost point of any room. Fortunately, he is naturally graceful and rarely breaks items unless it is simply out of curiosity. Somalis are adaptable throughout their lives and fit well into any home where they are loved and given plenty of attention. In a home where people are at work or school during the day, the Somali does best with a companion, ideally another Somali or a bai, who can match his activity level. If left to his own devices, the Somali may well dismantle the house in his search for something interesting to do. Beware. The Somali can be addictive. Once you've had one, you may find that no other cat will do. The Bengal is highly active and highly intelligent. This makes him fun to live with, but he can sometimes be challenging. On the whole, the Bengal is a confident, talkative, friendly cat who is always alert. Nothing escapes his notice. He likes to play games, including fetch, and he's a whiz at learning tricks. His nimble paws are almost as good as hands, and it's a good thing he doesn't have opposable thumbs or he would probably rule the world. Bored Bengal cats can also adopt some unconventional, and slightly destructive, habits, including, turning light switches on and off, fishing seals out of drains and excitedly plucking CDs from your DVD player. Fond of playing in the water, the Bengal is not above jumping into the tub or strolling into the shower with you. Aquarium and pond fish may be at risk from his clever paws. He also loves to climb and can often be found perching at the highest point he can reach in the home. A tall cat tree or two is a must for this feline, as are puzzle toys that will challenge his intelligence. 
on the rare occasions that he isn't swinging on chandeliers or swimming in your pool, the affectionate Bengal will be pleased to sit on your lap. It goes without saying that he will share your bed. And yes, he steals the covers. Hello. This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. The medium length coat of the Somali needs a moderate amount of grooming. Comb the coat once or twice a week with a stainless steel comb to remove dead hair, prevent or remove tangles, and distribute skin oils. In the spring, when the cat is shedding his winter coat, you may need to comb him daily. A bath when the cat is shedding will help to remove excess hair more quickly. Check the tail for bits of poop stuck to the fur and clean it off with a baby wipe. The short, thick coat of the Bengal is easily cared for with weekly combing to remove dead hair and distribute skin oils. A bath is rarely necessary. Brush the teeth to prevent periodontal disease. Daily dental hygiene is best, but weekly brushing is better than nothing. Trim the nails every couple of weeks. Wipe the corners of the eyes with a soft, damp cloth to remove any discharge. Use a separate area of the cloth for each eye so you don't run the risk of spreading any infection. Check the ears weekly. If they look dirty, wipe them out with a cotton ball or soft damp cloth moistened with a 50 to 50 mixture of cider vinegar and warm water. Avoid using cotton swabs, which can damage the interior of the ear. Keep the litter box spotlessly clean. Cats are very particular about bathroom hygiene, and a dirty box may cause them to start using other places in the house instead. It's a good idea to keep them as indoor-only cats to protect them from diseases spread by other cats, attacks by dogs or coyotes, and the other dangers that face cats who go outdoors, such as being hit by a car. Keeping Bengal indoors also protects local birds and wildlife from this avid hunter. If possible, build your Bengal a large outdoor enclosure where he can jump and climb safely. Bengals who go outdoors also run the risk of being stolen by someone who would like to have such a beautiful cat without paying for it. The active and social Somali and Bengal are a perfect choice for families with children and cat-friendly dogs. They will play fetch as well as any retriever, learn tricks easily, and loves the attention they receive from children who treat them politely and with respect. They're smart enough to get out of the way of toddlers but love school-aged children because they are a match for his energy level and curiosity. Nothing scares them, certainly not dogs, and they will happily make friends with them if they don't give him any trouble. Like many active cats, Bengals have a high prey drive and should not be trusted with smaller prey animals such as hamsters, smaller rabbits, and guinea pigs. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.